What's going on everybody? My name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on MPI implementation in Fortran. Now in this tutorial, we will be uh, making a game called as a ping pong. Now just like the game ping pong, which is also called as table tennis, we are going to we are going to send a ball back and forth between data, between the processes. Now instead of the ball here, we are just going to take a data and then send it back and forth between processes. Alright, so let's get started. The objective, uh, what we are going to achieve over here is that it's a minimal version of the ping pong wherein, wherein um, we will uh, we'll set up a data in process 0 and then send it to process 1. Process 1 takes the, receives the data and sends, uh, modifies it and sends it to process uh, 2. Likewise, process 2, process 2 gets the data, modifies it, sends it to process 3 and this happens so, ba so long continuously and at the end uh, la the last process uh, which will take the uh, take the data will receive the data and just prints it out and that's it we're just going to make it from one, just one way that is from process zero we'll be sending it to process n minus one through all the other processes in between all right now in the other variants <coughs> the other variants what can be possible is that uh, you pass the data from, from rank 0 to n minus 1 through all the processes and after reaching n minus 1 you can send the data back to 0 through all the processes and you can uh, and in another another variant of this game you can what you can actually do is that uh, you can uh, re repeat this back and forth process and step in this step for multiple rounds all right those i will leave that as a pro leave that as an example pra example program for you to practice all right as i'll just write the code for i'll just show demonstrate the code for um, for a single for a single pr uh, pr back and forth all right so so let's get started first as usual we will need the prerequisite so i use the mpi in it define the inter uh, error value rank and process i de define the status value for the send and receive calls and now this is one one addition over here we'll need some test data and i'm going to call them ping and pong ping is the data that we're going to send pong is the data that we're going to receive all right after initialization and setting up the communicator size and getting up the ranks and after finalizing the MPI code over here now we have to write the main code over here all right so let's actually get started now here uh, here I'm just going to make one more variable addition over here and that is called and that is for having multiple and that is for having the neighboring processes so I'm going to set them set them uh, with the initial value zero so the left uh, left variable will be the uh, will have the process ID of the process that is led to the left of me for and the center will be the variable that has my current process ID whereas the right will have the process that is in front of me like that for instance if I have process number three let's say center will, th will be three the process to my left will be two the process to my right will be four all right so that these numbers will be useful in that regard and now here let's actually type the main code we get we got, we set up everything that we want and now let's thing is let's start it first we'll set up the na the neighboring processes wherever uh, we just for each and every process with this will be the uh, process id of the process to the left and this will be ca carry the current process id of any process and this will be carry the current pro process id of the process to the right of right of it all right now Le in the ping pong game it actually starts with process zero so it starts with process zero so let's write the if, if if block if construct so if rank equal to zero then that's how it actually starts okay and else if else if that it actually finishes with uh, rank equal to uh, n prox minus one minus one then and finally we'll have an else block wherein the wherein we will specify what happened to the other processes so this is the layout and here we have to ping uh, ping and pong the data all right first in the process zero we need to set up a ping value so i'm going to do this as follows i'm setting a ping value i'm setting the ping value to be the center value plus one right you can set up any value for this ping doesn't matter i'm just want to give you a give show some uh, show some arbitrary data for you to ping send ping uh, okay and now 
what process was zero does is that it will send the data and the syntax for sending as just like in the previous video, the video is that we need the start address so ping is the start address number of variables that i'm going to send uh, number of units of data i'm going to send is one of data type integers all right the destination is the process to to uh, my right so send to process to my right okay i'm sending it with the tag center i'm sending the tag to be the process id itself all right and then the common mpi communicator error error value and i print the statement over here saying that ping from rank zero the ping value is this all right now at the end of at the end of it at the end of it um, <coughs> let's think i mean after the sorry after rank zero sent the data rank one will get it and rank one uh, process with rank one will get it and here that's going to happen over here right so let's actually receive the data so for that let me copy this part of the code and print it over here so mpi receive we will need an mpi receive to get the data and so we're getting the data with the in the variable pong okay and there's only one unit of data as an integer and the destiny the de source is from the process that to in my left all right so i keep the so i keep the to process to be left and the tag is actually again uh, the tag is again left because the it's coming the tag here and here the tag value that i'm sending is actually the process id itself so the le i need the tag id should be the process towards my, in my left of it to my left so i'm keeping it as left again thereby this send and this receive they'll be paired up properly cool and now and now i get i get the status value error and the com communicator all of that taken care of and now i say pong from rank uh, the part any part of rank and then i print the pong value cool so far so good good now let's actually modify the data now let's say i let's say and i have to keep a mod i'll modify the ping value so i'm going to set the it set it to be the pong value plus one okay now once this is ready we are ready to send the data and for that what we can do is we can actually copy this line of code and paste it paste it this will just work it will just work fine if you look at it it's exa it's exactly the same nothing much com nothing much complication in it all right so what exactly happens is that you just ping the data ping send the ping value with one with one and with mpi in it with mpi integer with in, uh, to the process towards my right with the tag to be my process id which is the center value with the communicator and the error value and that's it with this this ping uh, this ping part is done so we got the pong part we got the ping part and finally we have to talk about what happens to the last process and the last process as you might have guessed it just it just does, it just does a receive block on the end of and that's it so what we can actually do is that is that we can actually copy this and then paste it and then paste it and that will be the end of it and paste it and, and that's it that's the end of it so, and we made this code and so we made this code with uh, in generic generic by setting up these values so you can just copy paste the code otherwise you have to modify these tag values source and destination accordingly <coughs> for clarification nevertheless um, other than nevertheless nevertheless our program is actually complete all right so now let's give this a test run so i have the program ready to compile this so compile this so here i have i make the compile the code and get the executable and run this with four four processes all right so hope uh, okay so let's see so this is the code here i mean this is the location here and let me zoom it in zoom it a little more um i think this should be good but anyway that will do full screen here I have this now I write ping pong sh presenter and there you go it says ping from rank 0 ping from rank 0 the ping value is 1 pong from rank 1 that is rank 1 receive the data the pong value is 1 ping from rank 1 the process uh, ping value is 2 pong from rank 1 from, pong from rank 2 the pong value is 2 so on and so forth all right now let's actually make modifications to the process instead of four let me put us uh, something like 32 
yeah my process there aren't any 32 processes in my system so what will happen is that each process each process each cpu will do the job of four processes one after the other all right this is a, this is a good test uh, prog this is this way it's a good testing mechanism now let's run this there you go beautiful we have a ping pong ping pong from uh, subsequent processes and this went all the way till process number 31 sweet and now just to see uh, now what we can actually do is to make to make sure that this has done properly done properly what we'll do is we'll just send a value we'll just set up a value over here so instead of ping here instead of ping here let me set up a ping value to be like say 66 or something random like that all right random like that okay and now what i do over here in all these cases in all these cases i set the value ping to be equal to pong pong and then i do not print the intermediate values i do not print the intermediate values and i'll just print only this value and the last all right so what uh, let's now try this code out let's for my uh, try this code out uh, And there you go. You pinged it from process zero with 66, and it went to process 31 through all the other processes with the same retaining the same value. This is actually a test run, and this way you'll know which process is active and which process is not active. And this program, they although it may look a little simple, although it look it looks a little simple, this program has an advantage as in as in you will get to know <coughs> whether any other process is active any other processor is busy or not okay so if if any process let's say it's not working okay this communicate chain of communication should not should not happen it will not be possible it should have been shut down but, so this ping pong process although it looks like artistic in which it has a particular purpose you're you're able to see whether uh, you can communicate between the processes so the advantage of this program is that uh, advantage or purpose of this program is to to check if all the processes processes are working and communicating fine so if any one of the processes it between did not work this entire chain will break down and that's an indication that there's something wrong in the code or in the system itself all right now as an ex uh, now i would rec uh, recommend you to uh, try these variants uh, try these variants of if you want if you want to that will be a good practice uh, I mean, just a mere suggestion you can try this by sending the data back after receiving it in uh, rank i mean this process the last process you can send it back to process one process one if you want and then see what see if it is working on fine and then uh, and then if you want a slightly kicker of a, a slightly kicker uh, 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 application you can write you can do this in loops and see if this is working fine or not all right so with that being said that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching uh, in the next video i'll talk about uh, <coughs> i'll talk about um uh, f let's say using the send and receive for doing and doing some actual uh, mul actual multiplication. I mean, sorry, I'll be talk about send and receive for doing some actual uh, an application. All right. So till then, take care.